Okay, so welcome back to the channel everybody. It's Rain Sue's Travel Channel. It's day five on our seven day cruise on the beautiful Explorer of the Seas. And today we're in Santorini. And I just thought I would share with you an absolutely fantastic view, picture postcard almost of the bay, the cable car, and the cruise ships in the bay. How beautiful is that? Stay tuned. Well, good morning, cruise fans, and here we are. We're in Santorini. It's day five of our seven day cruise, and we're on the tender boat, and we're just about to leave to get into Santorini port. Uh, a couple of cruise ships with us today, a Costa ship, and also a lovely celebrity ship. And we hope to bring you a bit more footage of those as we make our crossing. And we're on the beautiful Explorer of the Seas this morning. We're in Santorini and we're about to get our tender transfer to the port itself. So stay tuned. And we're leaving the Explorer of the Seas on our tender, which is a very high performing tender. And uh, it's got about 150 people on board for this tender crossing and the beautiful explorer of the seas disappearing into the distance. How good is that? And an opportunity to get some fantastic footage as we leave explorer of the seas on our tender. And a lovely Costa ship also in the bay with us and also a celebrity ship behind her. <laughs> and after a very short run into the port area, probably taking about two or three minutes, you'll arrive on this side of the bay. And our excursion will begin. <laughs> As you come out of the terminal itself, there are of course setups for the individual cruise lines and there's a bit of a race to get to the cable car which is just above. So stay tuned and we're in the bay, we've just got off the tender ship, tender boat and our ship is behind the Costa ship you can see here in the bay. It's a lovely uh, celebrity ship there too. And when you arrive at the tender station, uh, there is a quite basic, fairly small port, uh, various shops and meeting points. And of course, individuals looking to sell you a tour or a donkey ride up the mountain. But here's the queue for the cable car and it's the cable car that we'll use today to get to the top of the mountain and so stay tuned and above here in Santorini you can see built into the sides of the rocks various buildings the church and some restaurants and the queue forms quite quickly here uh, as you get off your tender to get to the cable car station but it's not too long and it seems to be flowing quite well. It's about six euros each, each way. Uh, and we'll soon be at the top. And here's the entry to the cable car station. And it doesn't take too long really. Uh, it's been five or so minutes in the queue. And probably about a uh, hundred people in front of us. So not too long. And uh, for those that need uh, assistance there is a staircase into the cable car station itself which is about 20 steps so do bear that in mind when you're coming to Santorini and using the cable car okay and so once into the cable car station then another little wait until you get through the ticket office and, uh, be all right. 
So, we're in the cable car. I mean, we've been on the one in Madeira and that. Yeah? That's quite nice. So, it's a bit of an adventurous ride for Sue because she, she uh, doesn't like heights. But the, um, there and you I are. did a zip line about. Oh, look at you go! So now you just need a skydive. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's um, so we're having a bit of fun about our uh, <laughs> persuasion. Like, no, I'll be on first. Look at you go. <laughs> and you can see the fantastic view. You were here, look at that. From oh, the cable well, car. Station, right? <laughs> look at you, you did good. There you go. Okay, so after you get off the cable car, we can see an absolutely fantastic view in the background. And there are six cars and they uh, accommodate about four people each and then we come out into the main area right here okay so one of the alternative routes up the mountain is via donkey and uh, this is the, uh, the group here but uh, we've come up in the cable car so uh, we've not had to take this form of transport and as you come out of the cable car station there's a few linen shops either side and then a little church at the top of the stairs there and we can go off into the village itself and I just thought I would share with you the lovely Susan and this fantastically carved uh, raw iron gate with a lovely piece of metalwork but more impressive more impressive is the view across the village and a beautiful white buildings with the blue roofs for your enjoyment. How lovely is that? So here we are at the top of the hill now and we're about to get those wonderful views that we see on all the picture postcards across the bay and it doesn't disappoint. How beautiful is that? With a fantastic view over the village on the top of the mountain and the view of the cruise ships down in the bay below. And an absolutely wow of a view down the hillsides across the village and the beautiful cruise ships in the bay. How lovely is that? And the beautiful town and a fantastic Catholic church with the landmark decorating and a simply stunning view of the back of the hillside and down in the bay explorer of the seas and a costa and celebrity ship how super does that look and when you come to santorini one of your options for getting to the top of the hill is via the cable car that you can see now in the shop and it's uh, six euros each way and it will take you from the port at the bottom where the, your uh, tender transfers will terminate to the top of the hill. And as fast as you come up, you go down the same speed. So this is a funicular uh, cable car. So when six comes up, six will go down. Aracay. 
and the cable car opening times and prices and the cable car just arriving Okay, so here's the uh, cable car and it's a funicular type so it comes down from the top and pulls six cars up from the bottom. How about that? So here we are now down at the bottom of the cable car. On our way back we're going to have a little look around the uh, stores at the bottom of the port and then get back on to our cruise ship so we hope that's been useful okay so uh, we're going to get our transfer back in a moment but i just thought i would give you an idea of what the queues look like when you get off your cruise ship a bit later than you think and the crews and the queues for the cable car go all the way back as far as you can see so do yourself a favor when you when you are getting your transfer from the cruise ship do get off early get yourself an early tender ticket and get yourself up, get yourself off, and you will be able to get up to Fira and back. If you'd like to go up the hill via Donkey, here is the Donkey Station. And it's actually inside the little area by the lower end of the port. Okay, so on the right hand side, after the tender drop off, there's a little tiny harbour here and a uh, church and a few uh, uh, areas of interest there's a nice uh, cafe and restaurant just on the right hand side some lovely smells coming out of there and you can get yourself through that tunnel and go around to the middle section of the port and a little further along, a few little rustic uh, tavernas where you can get yourself some seafood and something to eat, something to drink and watch the little craft coming. And on the right hand side of the port, a, a quieter area where you can pick up local tours, catamarans, etc. and uh, get yourself a drink in the local cafe. Okay, so that's our stop in Santorini and uh, if you look in the centre of the screen now you can see the cable cars coming down and going up. It's a funicular design and that will cost you 6 euros per person each way. So 12 euros to go to the top of the hill to Fira and back and it will bring you down to a very busy part of the port where all the transfers are but here we've got just a nice quiet marina a lovely view of the cruise ships in the distance and a few tavernas uh, and bars around Okay, so we're back at the tender station now and there are a few cafes and shops and uh, here's the queue for the cable car. So bear that in mind, cable car queue is very long 
Uh, but if you get off early enough, as we did, you'll get up to Fira in no time. So, we hope that's been useful for you. And we're pleased to be able to share these tips and advice with you in the lovely Santorini in Fira on our stop on the beautiful Explorer of the Seas. We hope you found that useful. And if you do, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel and drop us any comments or questions below this video. So, that was Santorini, that was Fira. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again on the next Tips for Travellers video. Bye bye. And if you like this video, why not check out our channel, Ray and Sue's Travel Channel, where you'll find a raft of other cruise videos covering the Far East, the Middle East, the Mediterranean, and the Caribbean and Mexico. So please leave us any comments that you'd like, and consider liking and subscribing to our channel. It's through your subscription that this channel can grow.